what we're showing you here today is the new Ruger Precision Rifle. This is a rifle they've just come out with. They've been, uh, they've had a few out to play with for a few months. Uh, back right after the NRA show, I was supposed to go to FTW Ranch out in West Texas, which is an excellent place for shooting long range. I didn't get to go, but I've talked to some of the fellows that went, and they were engaging targets with this rifle out there at 1,600 yards and doing a good job in the wind and everything. Uh, personally, uh, back in June, I carried this rifle to uh, the NRA Whittington Center in Raton, New Mexico. Me and my brother and a couple guys shot it. We were shooting on steel targets out there successfully, real successfully, out to 1,125 yards, shooting a gong in the middle of a buffalo's chest. But it's an excellent rifle, and it really surprised me that Ruger has come out with this, especially at the price that they have. This rifle is available in a 243 Winchester, 308 Winchester, and the particular specimen we got here is a 6.5 Creedmoor. This rifle really likes the 120 and 140 horny grain logs. They shoot really great out of here. Some features of this rifle that make it unique and easy to shoot long range. One is the easy adjustment of this buckstock. First thing, it will fold for storage. Folds to the side, folds all the way over. It's got a 70 degree bolt lift. The bolt on this thing is made to be compatible where it'll work with single or double feed magazines. It can use uh, Actors here International. DPMS, uh, SR25, lots of different mags that work with it. A lot of the old M14 mags and things, maybe, maybe not won't work or so much variation on it. But the uh, mag well on this thing is made to accept a variety of magazines. It's got a 24 inch hammer forged barrel with Ruger's 5R rifle on it. It's threaded on the end for a suppressor or muzzle brake if you want to. It's got a 15 inch uh, Q mod handguard. Free floated, of course. The barrel's a medium heavy diameter, about 7 8 inch at the muzzle. I've got on here a nice scope that made it easy shooting long range. This is a uh, 5 to 20 Trigicon, really clear optics. Made it great for shooting long range out there. But a lot of the features on this rifle, one thing you'll notice the, the pistol grip is an AR style. It does have Ruger's excellent trigger in here, and the trigger, the adjustment for the trigger uh, is inside this bolt shroud. You screw this off. The adjustment there, we adjust it between about two and a half, five pounds. Excellent long range trigger. But uh, it's aluminum chassis. Got lots of, plenty of rail on here for things you need. But I really like the buckstock on this. I'll show you some features on it right here. For adjusting up and down, you're not loose to knobs and that kind of thing. You just flip that up and slide it. Let me get this buckstock folded out a little. Slide up and down, just for your height. Then you lock it down. Same for your, the length on it. Flip this out and slide it up and down. Got a section of rail here if you want to put a uh, monopod on the back. A good uh, bipod on the front and a good scope is really all it needs. Uh, the MSRP on this rifle really surprised me. Is uh, $1,399 US is the date of this review. Now they expect the uh, uh, retail price on it you know, where you can go buy one for will probably settle in somewhere around 1100 bucks which is a great price for a rifle like this. Nobody else on the market, I don't think, has one that'll touch it for that price. Uh, shooting on it, it's it just very accurate. You know, it shoots, of course, it's you can sub in the angle. You know, you can buy a $400 Ruger rifle to do that. But this rifle is made for long range shooting. The rifle has here on top the microscope, it's got a 20 minute of angle rail on it. Of course, you can change that if you want to shoot close, you don't have to have it, but get a scope plenty adjustment in it. They'll serve you well out to several hundred yards, uh, 20 minute of angle. Rail under the rifle weighs in without this scope, weighs in at uh, 10 pound 9 ounces on my scale, which is really, really good weight, good balance for this thing. It doesn't feel that heavy, but with the excellent trigger and all it has on it, that Ruger Marksman trigger really does a good job. The stock is so adjustable, you can get it to fit where your eye is right behind that stock. Plenty of magazines on the market you can use. It comes with two of these mag pull 10 round mags, but you can get, use these uh, DPMS 19 and 20 round steel mags, and not much longer, but the mag pull mags are very good. It uh, comes with two of those. Comes with the uh, adjustment for your trigger. A lot of nice features on this rifle. It's an excellent rifle at a great price. Ruger's got them in stock now. Dealers have them now. You see this video. Uh, some dealers have them on the shelf. Other dealers can get them. So they've been in production for a while. They've got them ready to go. Excellent rifle. Shoots well. And I highly recommend it. Same, well, just a little bit more. You are, you you come up about a, a width of the buffalo's belly. Okay, I'll go up again. I'll try the fourth one.
I didn't see it. You must have hit it. I heard it. I couldn't hear it. I, heard I got my things turned off here. That was a hit. Yeah, you're hitting it. Yeah, you hit him. Don't know where though. Couldn't tell where yeah, I heard it. You hit the buffalo. Yep. I didn't, didn't hear it. Couldn't tell exactly where. It takes a little time to hear the. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I heard it. Uh, yep. Shooter ready. Send it. <laughs> heard it. Can't tell where. You have a look, bud. The gold one's on you, so I don't know. Shooter ready? Send it. That's a hit. You got him. Go. I like this thing. It's nice, ain't it? It is real nice. Shooter ready? Send it. Went right through his body. They did a great job on that. They did a great job. Shooter ready? Send it. Get the gong. Ready? Hit the gong. Gong swinging. Cool. Gong is bonging. Hold just like that and do it again. Shot him in the back leg. You hit you him hit in the, the middle foot. Boy. So he's still shooting about a foot and a half low because you hit him down low in the foot. So hold just a little higher. Tell Butch when you fix and send it. So put that little right. put that little ball right on top of his hump. Spotter ready? Spotter ready. Oh, you, you pulled it off. He shot way over to the, you're about three feet to the right of his body and about six feet low. Never have a little windy. Try again, Ethan. Hold a little close to, to his nose, uh, pad of that finger instead of your knuckle. And remember to follow through. Don't let go of the trigger too easy. Hold it when you, after you shoot.
Shooter ready? Spotter's ready, send it. Oh, we're right under his pecker. Did, did you really just say that? Yes, I did. He said it on take two. 